You're watching Carolina and Company Live. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your host, Amanda Kinseth. And Cecil Chandler. If it's happening in the area, then it's on Carolina and Company Live. Welcome to Caroline and Company Live. Here's my friend, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Caroline and Company Live. I'm Renee Repic, and this is Cecil Chandler. That's right. And we have a great show for you today. That's right. What a way to start it off. The grandkids right there did a good job, and uh, my son said they're not getting into broadcasting, so don't start, Dad. I said, okay. And I know my ex-wife's watching today because, not because of me, believe me, it's because of the grandkids. All right, there they are. All right, there first thing before we get started, <laughs> first thing before we get started, what we need to do? Check the weather? We need to check the weather, that's right. Woo! Uh, well, some of us are seeing a little bit of clearing to the skies down along Surfside right now and points down to the south, although off in the distance, you see that white top right there? That's a developing shower, developing thunderstorm off in the distance out, down around Georgetown. North of this, the clouds are thick. That's because we still have the rain moving through. There's that shower I was just talking about. And it's gradually working its way north. So up through the Burles Inlet Surfside area, you may get a quick little splash and dash. But it looks like our rain chances will taper off a little bit for the afternoon and into the evening hours in comparison to what you've been seeing out there so far today. We do have to watch out for the chance for a few scattered showers and thunderstorms through the afternoon and evening, especially for the inland areas. And we'll still hold on to a decent amount of cloud cover, generally partly sunny skies. Uh, again, to mostly cloudy when you're seeing the rain. Now, the temperatures have been kept down because of the rain and the cloud cover so far. We're in the upper 70s to low 80s, but a little bit of sunshine can go a long way. One, to fire up another round of those thunderstorms, especially inland, and also increasing the heat. Mid 80s for highs along the Grand Strand today, even potentially the low 90s for several inland spots. Highs over the next seven days are going to be in the upper 80s to around 90 degrees. 90 forecast for Thursday and Friday. For the inland areas, up to 95 on Thursday and Friday. We will see 34, 30 to 40% chance of those afternoon and evening thunderstorms possible each and every day through the weekend for the inland areas and a 20 to 30% chance along the Grand Strand. So just keep an eye out of the sky. Don't cancel those afternoon and evening plans, but uh, just make sure you're keeping an eye on the radar. Weather is brought to you by A&I Fire and Water Restoration. It's Tuesday, and that means it is time for Grand Strand Humane Society. This is where we find out what our pet of the day is. Yes, and this is Copper, and Copper is a puppy. He's about, <laughs> he's talking, he's about five, five months old, and he is just a delight. He is going to make a wonderful family member for a family. He's very sweet. He's very yes. sweet, and he's playful. <laughs> Kids are going to love him, and he needs them. <laughs> well, if you're interested in adopting a pet, you can contact the Groin Strand Humane Society at... You can call us at 918-4910, or you can come see us, 3241 Mr. Joe White Avenue. Okay. And that is where we, my, we adopted our family pet, and yes. we love her. She's about two years old now, and she's as sweet as can be. Almost as sweet as copper. That's all we have. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. We're here at Surfboard Promotions. We've been having business promote their brands throughout the PD and along the Grand Strand since 1997. Screen printing, embroidery, promotional products, signs, banners, flags, vehicle wraps. We have everything and more to promote your business at Surfboard Promotions. Here at Surfboard Promotions, we've been having business promote their brands throughout the PD and along the Grand Strand since 1997. Screen printing, embroidery, promotional products, signs, banners, flags, vehicle wraps. We have everything and more to promote your business at Surf Water Promotions. It's now time for Amanda's Baby Cast, brought to you by Kangaroo Pouch. Now let's see pictures of baby Sammy. Yeah, let's see what Sammy's doing today. Wait, wait. Oh, He's doing what I like to do. He's taking a nap? This is his first stroller ride. Wow. You want to take a guess where they went? Park. Your favorite place to go on Wednesdays. Uh, Walmart. Yes. How did you know? They, they, that is so nice to take them to Walmart. <laughs> All right, we're keeping stroller. you informed about what Amanda's doing and then baby Sammy. <laughs> All right, I got to do a little talk real quick. I got to tell you about something now. Last night, my daughter-in-law, Lynn, and her parents went to the Carolina Opry. And uh, they told me they loved it. They loved the Good Vibration show. They said it was very entertaining. And the music brought back some good memories. So if you want to see a show and you need to see one, you need to go there. Yes, YMCA, there they are. So it's a lot of fun. 
All right, let's find out a little bit about today. You ready, Renee? I am ready. All right, today's Tuesday, June 24th, and this is Great American Picnic Day. Yum. All right, I'm going to have a picnic. I like that. And it's also UFO Day. Do you believe? I don't know. I don't know if I believe If we're or here, not. just think all these other planets. There's somebody out there. Somebody's out there, but I've never seen it. Somebody was watching me the other night. I was outside. Okay, all right, let's go. 1942, Michelle Lee, check her out. She's 72 years old now. She played Karen on the TV hit show Knots Landing. And in 1947, Mick Fleetwood, yes, he's 67 now, the drummer of the British group Fleetwood Mac, and he's also in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. How about Chubby Checker? When they go put him there. 1958, Tom Lister. He's 56. He played Debo on the Friday movie series and also Heartbeat and the Bill. 1949, how many of you remember Hopalong Cassidy? Come on, somebody in Not the audience. Y'all remember Hopalong. Everybody remembers oh, Hopalong. Oh, there's one hand That's right. There. It becomes the first TV network <laughs> western, Hopalong Cassidy. 1986, Guy Hunt won the first Republican governor of Alabama in 112 years. Wow. All right, know it all the parts. You ready? I'm ready. All right, listen up. There are a lot of dumb state laws still on the books all over the country. All right, here are two from the great state of Texas. It is illegal to milk another person's cow. I never would have done it anyway. Me either. <laughs> and in El Paso, appearing in public places wearing a lewd dress is prohibited. Who's to say it's lewd? I don't know. That's what I I'm wondering. <laughs> now, you come to Myrtle Beach, go down on the beach, you can wear those bikinis or whatever, but that's don't true. go to Texas wearing a lewd dress. That's for the know-it-all department. We got a great show lined up today. Uh, we've got, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. We're talking about bodybuilding. We're talking about your lawyers at the beach. And uh, we're going to talk about how you can put these little pet stickers on your window. Plus, it's praline day. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I saw you eyeing that over there. I did. I that's was That's right. Pauline Island Bakery is here with us, and we're going to talk about all, the, all that's coming up. All you got to do is sit back and relax. It's time to get your fun on at Broadway at the Beach with one-of-a-kind shopping, mouth-watering restaurants and eateries, spectacular attractions, and live entertainment, plus fabulous nightlife. Myrtle Beach's brightest stars shine day and night at Broadway at the Beach. Broadway at the Beach, positively awesome. The Grand Strand is home to beautiful beaches, immaculate golf courses, exciting nightlife, and fun activities for all ages. Unfortunately, not every day is a day at the beach, but legal help is always within your reach. You need an experienced attorney working to secure the best possible outcome for you. When legal issues threaten to cloud your day at the beach, contact the law firm of McCutcheon, Mumford, Vaught, O'Day, and Getty today and let us assist you with your claim. We are your lawyers at the beach. Welcome back to Caroline and Company Live. Now we're going to talk about your lawyers at the beach. Now, they have so much going on. Let's say we got, uh, let me get this right. McCutcheon, Mumford, Vault, O'Day, and Getty. Did I get it all? Well done. Yes, sir. <laughs> well Luther done. McCutcheon's with us today. Now, we get to talk about a lot of interesting things on this show, and, and you send in questions also that we ask them. Today, we're talking about traffic violations. Now, they're different from some other type of criminal charges. Now, what, what does that mean a little bit? A, a traffic violation is a criminal offense. Yeah. Uh, it's simply not one that's going to be tried in General Sessions Court over in Conway, which is a, which is a misdemeanor or a felony of some nature. They're going to be on the docket over on the, in Conway on the big, do, big docket. However, these are tried at various places in the county, be it a municipal court, yeah. be it central traffic court or a magistrate's court, but those are the areas in where these kinds of offenses are tried. Okay, I've been to those a few times. All right, if now, somebody does question? receive a ticket, what should they do? Well, the first thing you do is you need to look at it and see the date, time, and place <laughs> <Yes>. of, <laughs> of, what, of your hearing, okay. because it could be in just a few days. They run rosters at different times in the different places. So you, you find that out to begin with. Then you can determine the scope and nature of the offense itself. Is it a two-point violation? Is it a four-point violation? If it's a two-point, then you may simply want to send in the amount of money that you may owe and not even show up. If it's a four-point violation, you need to consider your options at that time because it can have consequences. That's right. You lose 12 points, you're in trouble. You, you're going to walk. If you get 12 points, you're going to lose your license. Uh, it can impact your insurance on the vehicle, any number of matters. So. You, you need to see what type of violation it is at the end of the day to determine whether or not you pay or do you demand a jury trial, which you can do individually if you want to, or you can show up and try to have a bench trial by yourself. It does whatever you want to do. 
All right, now I've got to ask you this. Is it necessary to have an attorney all the time when you have a, you it, go to court? It is not necessary. If it is a two-point violation, you've looked at the ticket, that's what it is. You can either show up yourself or you can send in the amount of the fine beforehand if you want to. However, if it's a four-point violation, you may want to consider yeah. discussing this with an attorney or just consult and say, here's what I've got. Can you help me? Will it, will it assist me for you to help? And then you can determine whether or not you need to hire an attorney at that time for assistance. Because if it's a four-point and you get to the 12-point <laughs> position, <laughs> you're, you're not where you want to be. You can't drive. You lost your insurance. Right. Bad things are going on. Well, Luther, I thank you for being here. i got a ticket I want to talk to you about when you leave, okay? You as soon leave. as I can. Right <laughs> now today, okay? <laughs> okay. Well, we're talking about the lawyers at thebeach.com. You can check them out. Send them a question. And uh, they're on here every Tuesday with us. All this legal advice at WPDE.com, and we'll ask him the questions. You send it to us. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All right, we got a lot more coming up. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Now, we've got a nutritionist and a bodybuilder on the show, and uh, they tell me he's the second most photographed bodybuilder. What do you think? I think that's fantastic. I saw you staring at me today. <laughs> Don't tell my husband. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. We've got Christian with us now. and uh, He's been on more than 400 magazine covers, yeah. and he travels and works with celebrities. Band members, band everything. Band members. Band members, band members. And now he lives in Myrtle Beach. Used to live in L.A., right? I did. I still go back and forth. Do I you? Go, yeah, I just got back last week. So. Okay. Um, but I love it here. I came out here to train one person in particular. Actually, I came out here to, to uh, get in shape. Bobby Kelly, who owns State Farm. I know Bobby. Yeah, I know Bobby. You get Bobby in Bobby. shape? <laughs> Bobby's in shape. Bobby's I have my insurance with Bobby <laughs> Kelly. Yeah. He's going to live a long time now. <laughs> but uh, I came out here to, to work with him originally, and I just ended up really loving it out here, and uh, here I stay. So I go back and forth, though. I'm in Los Angeles part of the time, and then I'm here part of the time. So all right, now back in the early time. days, you really worked with a lot of the stars and all that you did. Now, tell, tell me a name of a few of them that you did. Uh, well, I'm not supposed to talk about too many of them, but I'll right. tell you the recent ones. I, I lived at Justin Bieber's house for six months. Oh, oh really? So I was no. there for a while. Okay. Yeah, no, he's okay. not the bad guy everybody thinks he is. He's actually a good kid. I, I saw him that, in concert last year. What did you think? I, I loved it. I, I felt like a, a teenager. Are you a believer? Wait a minute, that's I'm a, a believer, I yes. Wait a minute, <laughs> that's a picture of me. That's not Christian. No, that's me? No, that's Christian. No, that's you. That's you in front of me in that picture. Oh, that's no, that's, that's me a, in front That's just a few <laughs> pictures now. How long have you been bodybuilding and all? Uh, well, I was, I was the quintessential skinny kid that got beaten up every day for a dollar really? twenty-five a month. Every day, oh, every wow. day. And uh, so I started working out when I was 14. But I've been in professionally doing this for 20 years, 21 years. 21 years. Yeah. Okay, you were a skinny kid. Super. I was the skinniest kid. I was the nerd of the school, literally. And so uh, this was before the days where they knew anything about really nutrition and things like that. So we were kind of playing with it and experimenting. Yeah. And uh, I realized how to do everything by doing it the wrong way first. So, oh, okay. Yeah, That's so I'm out good. here and actually I'm, I'm in Myrtle Beach training people and getting them in a better shape. I don't take athletes or anything that are already in shape. I like to take people who are not. There's a little boy I work out with here named Nick, actually, who lives here in Myrtle Beach. And in two months, about two and a half months, he's lost 30 pounds. He's doing fantastic. Wow. Well, well, you, you might see us uh -huh. out at the beach if you go to the beach. All right, so you work with people like me. Yeah, you like me. I can tell food. underneath that. Yeah. I can, I can feel like it already out. Shredded, but. All right, I, got, <laughs> I can need some help. Well, Christian, we appreciate you being here. If anybody's <laughs> interested in letting me help you out and get you in shape, you contact me, and I will get in touch with the man. Thanks so much, man. Thank you, sir. Go Thank ahead. You. you can touch his muscles. Right. Go ahead. Touch oh, okay. his muscles. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's actually the only Touch reason. Mine? I'm not. Kind of burned. Touch mine. <laughs> Whoa. Oh man, we got a lot more coming up on the show. You got to stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. And we have another guest. All right. When it comes to water damage, you got fire, mold, anything. Full steam ahead's always there, but they always do something a little different. They have these little stickers they put out, and Tony's here with us to talk about. Them. Tell us about these stickers now. That's exactly right. This is our pet rescue sticker. And at Full Steam Ahead, our animals are our family. So we thought this would be a great opportunity for us to share with the community a way to uh, make it more safe for your pets when they're at home and you're not at home. So by putting this on your main entry to your house, I will alert rescue crews that you have an animal in there and you can tell them how many. And that way, if there is an emergency, they can come and, and hopefully get your animals out of the house. All right, now where in the world can they pick up one of these? Where they can, can they pick it up? They can get these at any of your local humane societies uh -huh. as well as at FSA Full Steam Ahead and here at WPDE. All right, do you have one of those stickers? I do not. I All need right, one. I want you to, I want you, you you're going to get one, need one. Yeah. for your pet. You're going to need one. All right. Absolutely. Uh -huh. You can even put on there, take husband, if you want to make sure that they save your husband. <laughs> my <laughs> wife has one on there, too. It says, my husband is not here. Don't worry about it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but this is so cool, though, because people, their pets are a part of their family. Absolutely, they are. Just like in my family, they are my children, and that's how it is for most of us at Full Steam Ahead. 
And so we wanted to make sure that they are taken care of because, you know, when you leave your home, you take your children with you. Yep. Many times you don't take your pets with you. So this kind of gives a little extra uh, insurance when they're left at home by themselves if something were to happen. Now, these are free. You don't have to pay for them. Doesn't you just, cost you a thing. That's right. You just pick one up and put it on your window, and, and the firemen come in. We help sponsor these, of course. Yes, you did. He did, and uh, this is just a great thing to let people know because when a fireman goes into your house, he does not know. He does not know. That there's a pet in there. Right. What they're that's concerned right. about is getting the people out. Exactly. And if they see that, they go back in and they bring them out. They will do their best. Of course, they're not going to go into right. any, um, you know, extreme danger for the for a pet. But if they already know, then it kind of it gives them the heads up to keep their eyes open for it. And of course, if they can, they're going to do everything they can to save them. Um, so it, it gives them a heads up at least to know to look for them if they know it ahead of time. All right, Tony, tell them one more time where the people can get these. You can get these at FSA Full Steam Ahead at any of your local humane societies as well as here at WPDE. That's right. And I've got here. Let me have that one. Okay. All right. That's for you. Thank you. Okay, Thank put it you. On your gonna, tell how many welcome. animals you have in your house. I will do this, including my husband. Don't put your husband. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> no, thank you so much for being on Thank the you show. for having All me, right, Cecil. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. You got it. All right. Full steam ahead. Always thinking about you and your family and your pets. We've got a lot more coming up. Guess what's coming up next? My favorite part? Pralines. Boom. That's right. It's Pralines <laughs> Day. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back, and it, we're celebrating National Praline Day, and we have Max with us here from the Pauly's Island Bakery. How are you today? Oh, doing great, thank and you. And I'm thank celebrating so already. Thank you so <laughs> much. Look You're at welcome, all of these Cecil. pralines now. Oh my gosh, now, they're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, tell me a little bit about how a praline's made. Praline is made with sugar and nuts, and you cook your sugar down, and you, then you, you fold your nuts in, and it makes what's called praline. And then what we've done is we've filled different chocolates, white chocolate, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, et cetera, wow. and garnished them with different nuts and, and cocoa beans and what have you. So this gives you a different look and a different flavor to just a standard praline. It's a lot of fun. It is, and you got a lot of stuff. And I was telling the interns a minute ago that they were sugar-free, <laughs> not fattening. And they believed me. I said, no, I'm just kidding. There are no calories no in these calories. Right. None. <laughs> right, we now. need to be on smell-o-vision because it <laughs> smells fantastic right now. It does. Now, when you're putting this together, how long does it take you to put together pralines? Is going on type you're making or what? Just the sugar and the nuts is not very time consuming. It's the finished work that's time consuming where you decorate each one individually, gives it an identity. Um, so it can take you quite a while. You know, these took a couple hours. All right, we're going to show a few here now. All right, now tell me a little bit about that one. Now, what's on that one right there? Tell that's me. milk chocolate and it has a cocoa shred on top of it. Ooh. Mm -hmm. All right, how about this one? That one's almond and it has a milk chocolate to it. Mm -hmm. All right, I like that one. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to leave that one to you to decide. You can oh, pick it out. I'm going to try that one. And then this one here is with yeah. a little mocha on top, a little coffee bean on top with white chocolate. Yum. Mm -hmm. Wow. And this this one here gives a little bit of a Snickers look to it. Oh, this one? Mm-hmm. Mm, okay, I'm going to yeah, try all that. Yeah, you may have to try one of those. All right, now, at Pauly, you know, at Pauly's Island Bakery down to where you're at, Max, how long have you been in business now? We're in our fifth year now. Fifth year? And, and we grow every day. I've got 15 employees now. Can you believe that? Wow. All right, now, you've been baking for how long, though? About 40 years. 40 years. Wow. I've been in food 40 years and baking for 40 wow. years. Wow. All right. Now, I've got to, I, I asked you this last time. You're, you're skinny, and you make all this stuff. How do you do it? My staff chases me all day long. <laughs> <laughs> well, we appreciate you coming. These are so great. Go ahead and go get you one, Renee. Go oh, ahead and try. I'm going to get the Snickers oh, one. Go ahead and try. try the Snickers Give that a try. I will. Right, I'm gonna... grateful for you having me on today. Well, Cecil, I appreciate it. Mm. And we bring these up for you to try. And uh, have we're going to have them. The newsroom will be here in just a minute. Time to show it They will, too. It's very good. Mm. Mm. That is That's nice. very good. Isn't that nice? It's All not right. too sweet. I know it. I no. like that. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back, everybody. Thank you very much. You know, I've been in television for 41 years, and this is one of the most fun shows I've ever done. Carolina and Company Live is a great show. It tells you about everything happening in the community. If you want to know what's going on in Horry County, PD area, you got to watch this show. It's a lot of fun. Amanda and I really click together. I love this show, and uh, I hope it's going to continue for a long time. So if you're looking to find out what's going on in your area, you got to watch Monday through Fridays at noon. It's live. You never know what's going to happen on this show. In fact, I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> Welcome back to Caroline and Company Live. Can, and here's I, Cecil. Can't figure out which praline I've to eat. I've tasted so many of these pralines. I tell you, Max really put some great stuff together down there. And it's just look at all these things we got. Oh, they my goodness. They are very good. I know it. All right, we've had a great time. How was your second day? I had a, ver a great time. You're getting a little more relaxed. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> You're feeling better. All right, I that's the way yeah. it's going. Tomorrow will be another day, and we'll just keep rolling. Okay, it's a All snap right. now. All right, well, we've had a great time today. Don't forget, if you want to find out what's going on in your area, you always watch Carolina and Company Live. Tell your friends about us, because we're here every day at noon. 
And right now we're being broadcast at 1030 on uh, CW21. That's Tell right. them bye. bye. See y'all tomorrow right here. See you tomorrow. <laughs>